Hey everyone, awesome Disney Toys here, and lately I've been getting a ton of requests to do a Sprite Jelly video. Can you please make the Sprite Jelly, please make a Sprite one, do Sprite, boom 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 boom. Check out all these comments. So because I love my awesome fans, here it is. First we start off with 500 milliliters of water. I know, it's a little more water than we're used to pouring in, but I'll explain that later. Next, we're going to be using 170 grams of lime jello. We need this since Sprite is clear, and we want to try making the jelly look like the Sprite bottle, so hopefully the color is right. Also, this lime jello doesn't come in packets, which is why I said 170 grams. Ooh, that's cool! It looks like we're brewing a magical potion. We'll also need 8 packets of unflavored gelatin. Let's throw it into our magical potion. Watch how fast I pour these packets in! Woo! I was like the flash! Alrighty, let's throw all the powder into the water until all the clumps are gone. Doo -doo -doo. Just give it a mix. This would be pretty cool to make for St. Patrick's Day too. Okay, you can stop stirring once it looks like this. Now we'll put the stove on low heat. While we wait for this to heat up, let's pour out the Sprite. The reason why I use more water today is because we don't need the Sprite. We'll just pour this into a glass to enjoy later. You're probably thinking the jelly flavor might taste a little off since we're not using the Sprite, but I think the lime jello will still work. Also, we're trying to make the bottle look as real as possible, so we could sacrifice the taste. Let's peel off the wrapper. We'll need it to make our jelly bottle look real. Now, just like with all the other jelly videos, we'll use an X-Acto knife to cut right down the middle of the bottle. For those who are watching for the first time, we need to do this now so that we don't cut up our jelly at the end. Okay, and let's grab some duct tape to cover up that line. Be sure to really stick it on there. It would be a real shame if all your liquid spilled out. Let's check up on our jelly. Perfect! We got it at the temperature we need. We'll just give it one final stir. And then we'll pour it all into this bottle. So far, just by looking at it, the lime jello color is pretty similar with the Sprite bottle. Woo! Crossing my fingers! Hopefully it's a success! You want to make sure you fill it all the way to the top so that we can create the neck of the bottle too. Let's put the cap back on. And usually I say put it in the fridge for about an hour, but this time around, we'll leave this bottle in the fridge overnight. Woo! And it's the next day! Sorry for the long wait, guys. Let's peel off our duct tape. Success! No liquids are spilling, so we're looking good. Use these scissors to cut up the plastic. Let's do our quick check as usual. Yup, that's jelly to me. Perfect! Do another check. It's pretty crazy how the jelly color is the exact same color as the bottle. You can't even really tell when you peel the plastic off. Now that we got the middle part off, we could start by taking the top of the plastic off. Looking good! Wow, that's pretty nuts! Even the bottle design at the bottom was perfectly created onto the jello. Pretty neat! Let's take this bottom part off and we're almost finished. Sorry guys, I don't want the jello to rip. Woo! Let's pick this up. Even without the sprite label, this looks pretty real. And when you touch it, you know it's jello. But I think this could look just as real as the cola bottle we did. Let's put the wrapper on. Mm-hmm. This looks pretty real to me. What do you guys think? If we look at it from all angles, it pretty much looks like the real bottle. Let's just add the cap back on. And if you just show this to someone else, I guarantee you someone's gonna say, that's just a Sprite bottle, what's so interesting about this? But they don't know it's made out of Jello. You know what would also be a pretty funny trick? If you told people that you could easily cut through a soda bottle with a knife. 
And then when you start doing this, they'll probably freak out. Until they realize that it's made out of jello. Okay, so I just cut the bottom portion of the bottle. Let's cut through the middle. I'm really curious. I wonder how this will taste. We didn't use any of the Sprite, so I'm pretty sure it won't taste like that, but Sprite is a lemon lime flavor, so hopefully it's somewhat similar. Let's just start cutting up little slices and get ready to take a bite. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh, since we used a lot of gelatin to keep the bottle shape, you may want to use more jello to make it sweeter depending on your taste. Alright, here it goes. Mmm, yeah, it doesn't really taste like Sprite. It just tastes like lime. Could be a little sweeter though. Now I'll just go ahead and start cutting up some more jello. Try cutting it this way. If there's any other jelly videos you guys want me to make, just write it in the comments below. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.